Hello guys and welcome back. So let's go ahead and start doing the weight painting part. So what you have to do is grab all the joints. All right, all those small joints and then the geometry. We do a rigging and skin and there is a edit influences and add influence. And here, make sure that you check on the weight, uh, weight locking and lock the weights. Make sure that they're zero and then apply. All right. Now, if you go ahead and do the pen skin weighting here, you'll see, let me close that for now. You see that we have a, put it here. Uh, we have a list of locked joints added, right? Those are gonna be, gonna be the joint we just added in. Let me grab them all and unlock these guys. Cool, and go ahead, go ahead and uh, grab the model and then the joints, if that's easier. Right. And then we go pen skin waiting one more time. And then we can start painting their waiting. I'm going to go from the 19 here, right? And then look for replace a value of one just to pen over, right? Uh, here, when you're painting the waiting, you want to go a little bit overboard so that you're sure those joints are taking over uh, the control, right? Okay, so for every joint, you can assume that they're gonna create uh, or control a loop here. Okay, you can see it goes all the way from the top here to almost the very last loop of the eyelid. Okay, maybe not that much. Let's just keep this one clean. Okay. Make sure that they're taking over, right? So this guy, maybe you'll take care of this loop here and this guy will take over this loop as you can see if you can make every joint to control a loop the weight painting is easier <laughs> right because they're all just one loop okay so that one goes to here all right last one uh, this one can control a bit more because there are three loops and the last one maybe will also control a bit in the middle including some of the guys over here we can go back and forth just to be safe right we go to the middle and we we just go back and just make sure that we pin over that again and making sure that we're we're having exact control of this area So you go really rough and really harsh. All right, let's check. Uh, oh, before I do that, I can also mirror the weighting. So go for skin, mirror skin weight, right? The setting will be mirroring from positive to negative, right? So that's gonna be the default setting actually. Just go ahead and apply. And let's go ahead and take a look at our weighting. Uh, we can go to the list and grab the first one, 19, right? I can hit, we can hit the up arrow to go check the other ones. You can see they're all, having a little control of you know one of the loops all right and then it's the time we smooth the weighting uh, that's going to be very easy just go change your operation to smooth and then grab this one and hit flat okay and you can hit the up arrow to go to the next one flat keep doing that until you flat them all to oops smooth them okay and then you can go again, do a skin mirror skin weight. All right, and let's take a look at what we got. Grab the controller, let's drag it up. You can see it is controlling that part. Now, one thing you're noticing is that the skin is actually rotating also. You can see that's part of the feature ribbon have. It's not only moving things up and down, it's also rotating the geometry. Uh, let's take a look at that. All right, that might be something you want, might be something you don't right so uh, you could actually disable that if that's that's too much right uh, but you can also make it lesser if you wanted to uh, so what you want to do here is huh, what's going on with my hair maybe that's just the memory of the video card it's having trouble <laughs> 
Anyway, so, oh, that's because I'm showing the wireframe, <laughs> that's why. Anyway, so one thing I want to do is um, go to the joints we have over here. And you can see they're having parent constraint. The rotation enables that rotation we're experiencing. Uh, there are many options you can do. You can let, make them rotate lesser, like 0.2 instead of a full rotation. That way, when you drag things up and down, you can see it's doing rotation, but maybe not that much. Uh, let's see if I can. Oh, we cannot do that because uh, it's still going to have full control, actually. So we could either say, let's just make it lesser by having another constraint on it. Or we can also say, if we don't want constraint, we can break the connection. So oftentimes, what I do here is just break connection here. Okay, But there's a possibility, if you wanted to still be rotating, uh, you could create another constraint, right? And you change that to something smaller, <laughs> right? That would work. But you know, just to make things easier, we, we're just gonna disable the rotation input because it doesn't really need to rotate. That way, it just feels a little bit more uh, stable, right? Let's take a look. All right. Um, if it's easier, we can also disable the visibility of the joints. That way, we can see what's going on here. Okay. So now we have all those controllers to be able to move things up and down, like that. Now we can do uh, some final uh, cleanup to the weighting. Uh, we can grab the head, and then we can use the head to smooth out uh, the top and the bottom. Okay. And we can also make this part to be controlled a little bit more by using replace zero. This is dangerous, so don't use it too much. You only use it when you're cleaning things up. You can make two of the loops to be absolutely uh, having no input from the head. Uh, that way, uh, they are going to be distributed to the other joints uh, on the abro. Again, that's going to be relying on a very stable or very clean initial weighting for others. If not, then you're going to mess things up. Okay, So be conservative when you're using subtraction, basically. All right, cool. So that's going to be the weighting part for those guys. Right? After that, we can now use those individual controllers to control the shape of the eyebrow. Okay? So that's the basic idea behind the join-based facial expression with ribbon. There are other simpler methods. You can basically use the curve. We have some previous tutorial uh, which talks about that workflow. Uh, but with some coding, we can easily implement uh, the ribbon. Uh, ribbon has some other benefit. You can rotate it. It's going to do something. Right? You can also try to scale it. You can see it's also trying to expand that area. So it does have a little bit more control. All right, cool. So that's this is going to be the waiting part. Let's move on to the next to set up some more global control. Okay, see you next time.